Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're having a great day. And if you're not, what are you doing to fix that? What are you doing to change that? So it's a beautiful day today. Once again, I think spring might finally be here to stay. Um, just got out of work for the day and heading to Walmart. I'm on, I'm on dinner, dinner duty again tonight. Uh, Kay decided uh, breakfast for dinner sounded good. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to run out and grab some stuff so we can have breakfast for dinner. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't know if we have eggs. So I think I'm going home first. Which means I have to turn around to see if we have eggs. So I don't waste my time buying eggs when we already have them. Because I think we do. Don't you hate that? Don't you just wish? You know, I'd love to have one of those connected fridges that knows everything you have in it. So then you can just go, oh. Let me check my phone. Oh, my phone says we have eggs, but they're expired, so I need to get eggs. That's that's where I want to be. That's that's the future I want. Well, it's a good thing I checked on the eggs because we do not have good eggs. So I'm going to get eggs too. So what's your favorite breakfast food? What do you enjoy? I'm an omelet guy. I love omelets, but they got to be the right kind of omelets. I'm pretty picky with my omelets. I feel like I make a really good omelet. I I really like the omelet that I make, um, but omelets my go-to breakfast food. Something along those lines, some sort of scrambled egg type thing. I don't know. I, I, I like fried eggs, but only if I make them. If I make them or my mom makes them, that's it. I don't like any other fried eggs. They're, they're always too runny. Uh, the way my mom makes them is perfect and I kind of stink at making them, but I'd rather them be too hard than too soft, so. But what's your breakfast food? What's your go-to? Do you like French toast? Do you like pancakes? Do you like oatmeal? What do you like? And do you feel like it's okay to have breakfast for dinner? I love breakfast, anytime. I know from watching like chef shows and things like that, that chefs generally hate making breakfast, and I don't know why. Breakfast to me is the best meal of the day. Which is ironic because I never eat breakfast. Ever, hardly ever. Um, if we go somewhere, if we're out of town or whatever, we always eat breakfast. Um, stay at a hotel, things like that, we'll always eat it. Weekends, generally we eat something, but during the week I never eat breakfast. More so because I just enjoy sleeping in every last second that I possibly can. So, But yeah, so you like breakfast in the evening? Do you, you eat breakfast different times of the day? I get really annoyed with these places that don't serve breakfast all day. Like, why? What is? What are you gaining? I mean, like... Ponderosa here in town stops serving breakfast at 10.30 in the morning on the weekends. 10.30 in the morning. Like, I don't know if it's a good weekend for me. I'm not out of bed yet at 10.30 in the morning. I mean, we have the boys, so I'm always out of bed by 10.30 in the morning now. 10 o'clock usually. But 10.30 in the morning, that's late. Or that's early to stop serving breakfast. I mean, what's wrong with eating breakfast at 11? What's wrong with eating breakfast at noon? I don't understand that. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Well, I mean, buffet, I understand. You can't have the breakfast food up there all day. But come on, these places that serve meals, serve breakfast all day. Why wouldn't you? It's just silly. So guys, I'm looking at our analytics now on YouTube, and they YouTube has a new thing now where you can um, see your analytics for both subscribers and non-subscribers. So I can click here, and I can choose to view my analytics based on who's who is subscribed to the channel and who's not. And I'll tell you what. More than half of the views we get on all of our videos are from people who are not subscribed. So I know you're finding us somehow. We'd really appreciate it if you'd take a minute and just stick, click that subscribe button um, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way when you, when you go into YouTube, you will get updated when we post a video. You'll see the video first. Um, every day we post a video, uh, we post it at 4.30 on YouTube. 
It doesn't go out to social media and Twitter, Facebook, all that until 5 p.m. Just to give it a little bit of a buffer there. So if you guys subscribe to the channel, you'll see the video sooner than anybody else because you'll see them come up in your feed on YouTube at 4.30. So we'd really appreciate it if you just click that subscribe button, just take a second uh, and subscribe to the channel. Obviously, you like what you're seeing. Um, obviously, you found us somehow, so, so please subscribe while you're here. Oh, man. If only YouTube had Smell-O-Vision and you could smell this Bob Evans sausage cooking right now. It smells so good. Got the Bob Evans sausage going. Got some hash browns going. And we're well on our way to breakfast for dinner. Just waiting for Kay and the boys to get home. What are those? I said hot dogs. No, they're Smokey Links. Hot dogs. No, they're Smokey Links. Leave them alone. Why? They're Smokey Links. What is that? Those are yours. So for some reason, everything was sticking to the pan tonight. So it's not my normal masterpiece. In fact, I destroyed mine. But there's K's. Plenty of hash browns, the best way. What do you notice in here? Anything new? <laughs> Ethan noticed it. Don't don't rub it off. Nope, you don't get to write on it. You know what this is? Yeah. What is it? My boy. <laughs> no, it's not smile more. Well, look at there's an R and me in there. But what does an E stand for? Um, Ethan. That's right. What does an I stand for? Yeah. So what does this mean? On Tuesday, Ethan and Ryan slept all night in their bed. Yeah. What does Wednesday mean? Wednesday night. It says E and R. That means. Okay. You both slept in your own bed. Yeah. So in the morning, boys. When you guys sleep in your own bed, we come in here and we're going to write your name or write your letter uh -huh. on there. I'm here. Did yeah. you type that in yourself or was it pre-established? Mm -hmm. pre done. Oh, that's kind of and, nice. and, and, and we got that. Okay. And listen, listen. If you can fill this whole thing up yeah. with five of your letters, yeah. you get a special prize. Oh, I can't get that. Huh? Yeah. What's the prize? I don't know. I haven't figured out the prize yet. No. no. We haven't worked that far ahead. We have to get to five. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Do the dunky in the toilet. You want me to dunk you in the toilet? Okay. Here we go. In the toilet. You're silly. No, you are we already teased you with it. Why? Oh, Ryan. This is our new word, why. And it's driving me bonkers. I stop that. Why? Look how happy Bella is to be outside. So our mission for today is to put some bird feeders out. Well, there's some on our fence and then we have one. So I bought some bird food and we're gonna put it on. But the boys also want this bird feeder. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of dark. But I see it way over there in the corner. It looks like a church. With the flag and the, by the light, that's the one the boys want to put out. We're going to try. Don't mind the winter mess. It's vlogception. Yeah? <laughs> Can we get that bird feeder out? No. So here's the bird feeder the boys want out, but look all this stuff in the way from winter. Eric says it's not happening, but no. the boys look at it all the time from our from their car window. Crazy how their vision is. You wouldn't want to lose that moment. That moment of what? Every day you come home and they see the bird feeder. Oh, okay. Bird seed. Guys, what are you going to work on? Um, bird seed. Do you want to feed the birds? Yeah. yeah. We got some wild bird seed. We got some cracked corn and some different suet with the suet cages. Bird cages. Yeah. And then one. Oh, look at Daddy got! And it's fantastic. Kay had the birdhouse for literally a minute. And she broke it. It's not break it, I can fix it. The glass just came out. It's not broke. Broke it. Ugh. Open it up.
What are you doing, Bella? Oh, Bella would love to see it. Wouldn't you, Bella? There's a bird cage. It's not a bird cage, it's a suet cage. No, it's a bird cage. Okay. Where do you guys want to hang them? Take your bird feeders. Put them where Bella can't reach them. Cause she already thinks she's a bird. You guys told her she was a fish yesterday. So she's a little confused. Gonna have to mow soon. Where are you going? Don't you want to be where you can see it? Up there. Ow. Up there. You want to put one up here? There you go, boys. Now I gotta, I gotta put a bird on. Your suet's hanging. Ryan, if you say why one more time, I'm taking you to the pound. Got it? Why? <laughs> Let's go. You're going to the pound. I'm taking you to the pound. No! All right. Can you scoop it out with your hands and put it in there? You can put scoop out a lot. Put it in there. Good job. We're going to be here forever. Now Mama's thinking. Just okay. give him a shovel. I'll shovel. Just the shovel is good, guys. Okay. Each you take turns. Right here, right here. Right here. No, in the bird house. Oh. Alright, now Ryan gets a turn. Ryan gets a turn. It's supposed to be Ethan's turn, right? That's it for us tonight. The boys are getting ready to go to bed, and I'm going to edit the vlog. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that thumbs up button if you like what you saw. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, as we talked about earlier, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to dream bigger. Hey, I want to teach you guys a very important part of living with girls. Okay? Do you want to know what it is? Okay. Yeah. A way to make girls very happy when you live with them. Okay. When you're done going to the bathroom, okay. put the toilet seat down. Okay. Gotta put it down. Girls always want you to put the toilet seat down. There you go. Good job. Uh, uh, and that way they'll be happy. Uh, and you won't get yelled at. Uh, okay? Okay. Daddy, Daddy, tell me when I was a girl and put the toilet seat down. Yeah? What happens if you live with a girl and you put the toilet seat down? Uh, no, no. Does it make me very happy if you put the toilet seat down? Yeah. Yeah.